Shakespeare Theatre will soon be celebrating the poet's 400th anniversary. Stratford-on-Avon is on its mettle, not only culturally, for the historic town will be the mecca of Shakespeare lovers. The council have done everything possible, energetically led by the mayor, to ensure that Stratford gives a real welcome to all. The artistic organisation of the festival is directed from the headquarters of the Birthplace Trust by Mr Levi Fox, a tremendous task on his shoulders this year. The hotels expect more visitors than ever. One of them is building a new wing to treble its accommodation. The Shakespeare Centre, built as a permanent commemoration of the 400th anniversary, will be opened by an American, the Honourable Eugene Black. He is a former president of the World Bank and one of the foremost Shakespeareans in the States. Gifts to the centre have been received from all over the world. In all its departments, the Royal Shakespeare Theatre is up to its eyes preparing the seven plays being performed in the festival season. From props and costumes to sets and scenery, new ones to be built and painted, others to be overhauled and freshened up. Then there's the all-important box office, coping with a record demand for seats. That's good news. The play is the thing, but no patrons, no play. Richard Buckle has planned the Shakespeare exhibition illustrating the life of the poet. Pathé News will film the birthday celebrations and the Shakespearean background comprehensively and in technicolour. Shakespeare's legacy to the world is not for an age, but for all time. Valued at £25,000, a first folio, the first full printed version of the plays. The whole world pays tribute to the man of Stratford-on-Avon, William Shakespeare.